Hello Warriors! One of the problems with us people who suffer from mood disorders, especially if we suffer from ex depression and anxiety, is that we tend to internalize other people's emotions and be over empathetic with other people's feelings and emotions. That's why they call them the empaths. <laughs> and I think this is especially true, um, empaths with you know, depression and anxiety, this combination is especially true because it's a form of internalization, depression and anxiety. You can take, for example, narcissism, which is an externalization of emotions. And that's also bad. People who are, are going to be over aggressive with other people because they cannot regulate themselves otherwise. But people who are more, um, shy introvert or you know just don't have that narcissistic instinct they turn to they tend to internalize those emotions and sometimes if they cannot deal with those emotions they can turn into anxiety and depression it's kind of a way of punishing ourselves But moving on, so a lot of us are empaths and this can mean that we, uh, by putting other people's emotions before our own, we can either absorb other people's problems as if they were our own and therefore we can just disappear and let other people take over our lives and be too empathetic towards them. Or we can also lack the self-confidence to assert ourselves. And uh, yeah, this, this happens a lot if you were abused as a child, because normally if you were abused, every time you try to uh, speak up for yourself, you got uh, either, you know, slapped in the face or yelled at, which was my case. In my case, my biggest problem was my mother. So I used to have especially this problem with my mother and uh, with women. And it took me years and years of therapy to not be afraid of women, which is really strange, but true. And uh, so now my problem is better, but um, even though I had been through so much therapy, I still had the issue. And I would, for example, not uh, speak up for myself uh, towards friends. A lot of the times I was afraid that people would leave me. And then actually when I completely cut contact with my family, I uh, was not <laughs> afraid anymore because abuse was no longer part of my normality. So why would I be abused by my friends? But it was still a part of my life at work. I was really afraid to speak up for myself at work because I have a lot of anxiety. And one of my main sources of anxiety is financial anxiety, uh, which is by a number of reasons part of my history. So. At work, I was afraid to speak up for myself. And I had, as you can see in my other videos, namely you can see one of um, what is what does a mixed episode feel like? And it talks about my mental breakdown last year where I had a lot of suicidal thoughts. And basically I thought my life would be over. And um, that was horrible, of course. But one of the good things was that I stopped being so afraid of other people at work because I thought, okay, I'm going to die anyway. I don't know if I'm going to die tomorrow, <laughs> after tomorrow. I'm going to die anyway. So why am I so afraid of being fired? Why am I so afraid of my colleagues? If my colleagues treat me like shit, I'm going to answer back. And although my suicidal thoughts have gone now, I still have this notion that I kept with me. And I think sometimes when we have mental breakdowns, we, we can take lessons from it. It's it's called post-traumatic growth. So we can grow from traumatic episodes a lot of the times from, from difficult situations. I think I haven't grown everything that I could, but I think that's one very important thing that I kept with me, which is the notion that life is finite. We're going to die anyway. It can be tomorrow. It can be in 60 years. We're going to die anyway. So why would you care what other people think? so much. I'm not saying you should go around and tell everyone to go fuck themselves. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying this is something that you should keep in mind whenever you're too afraid to assert yourself, whenever you're too afraid to speak up for yourself, and whenever you're too afraid to, um, 
lay out your needs. And I have an example from my life at work where this really, like, this for me is new. I'm 34 and for me it's still this is new. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's really obvious for a lot of people, but I think if you are like me and you are an empath and you've always been afraid to assert yourself, you're going to uh, identify yourself with this episode. So I was at work and actually... Um, my like a, a superior that I had and this other dude they started telling me something and they started kind of like raising their voice at me and they were kind of right but I was kind of pissed off I mean anyone could could have been right in that situation all I know is this I just got up and said okay you know your message is valuable but you should treat me with some goddamn respect and you should do it now and I would never have done this before. I would have never like raised my voice and say such a thing without shaking and being super scared. And then I thought, okay, um, you know, my superior is my superior. He actually apologized to me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and this guy actually apologized to me. And um the other dude, which I thought would be super mad at me forever, you know, because I'm always afraid of that if I try to assert myself. Actually, now he's super nice to me, but like super nice. And I thought, oh my God, you know, all the, all this time I was afraid to speak up for myself. All this time I was afraid to piss people off, get fired, uh, people wouldn't like me. And I thought, you know, being super like... Um, so being a doormat basically would solve that problem, but actually it doesn't. It really doesn't. People will respect you more if you speak up for yourself. Uh, this is the world we live in. Sometimes it's just a bit um, animalesque in that way. You know, it's it's a bit like animals. If you don't like show your teeth, if you don't whatever, uh, roar, um, the other lion is uh, going to think you're an asshole. Well, this sounded weird. But uh, so, so these are these are the benefits of uh, a certain asserting yourself. So I think this is what you should keep in mind. Next time you're scared, next time you think uh, people are not going to like me because of that. Maybe pe people are going to like you more because you show your boundaries. Maybe people are going to like you more if um, because, you know, they know who they are dealing with and they know that they can only go so far and um, they know, you know, basically you are their equal. There's no one who's going to be, um, you know, below anyone and taking someone else's shit all the fucking time. Okay, uh, I hope this video helped and I'll see you next time. Happy healings.